Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, I'm going to be doing a mechanism drawing. So this right here is a mechanism. And a mechanism can be like a camshaft or a crankshaft that would be like in a car or something like that. It's just about changing the motion of something by either rotating or sliding, moving from one point to another. Alright, so for this mechanism right here, it says that the drawing shows a mechanism in which AO revolves in a clockwise direction. So this is AO right here, and this arrow shows that it is rotating in a clockwise direction. It goes on to say that AB is constrained to slide through the pivoted block C. So this right here is the block C, and this is AB. So it's pivoted to slide through that block as it rotates. All right. And then it says plot the locus of B for one revolution of OA. So this is point B right here. So I'm supposed to plot the locus for B. And the locus is basically a line that outlines a point in motion. So as AO rotates, one revolution. I'm supposed to plot where B is going to go throughout that revolution. All right. And then it says that A will equal 50. So the diameter of the radius of the circle is 50 and AB equal 180. So from here to here is 180. We we'll also need C. And it says that the center of block C is located by two dimensions, 120 millimeters and 20 millimeters. So what that means is that from the center O to this point here is 120 millimeters. And then from here down to C is 20 millimeters. All right, so as it says here, 20. So from here to here, and you can see it right here says 120. So from here to over this point is 120. And then you come down by 20 millimeters to find point C. All right, so let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw the circle and divide it into 12 equal parts. All right. All right. So for this, the radius is going to be 50. So type R into 50. Enter. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. 50. Let me just measure this. Yeah, this should be 50. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to draw a line through this. This line will represent like a diameter. And then I'm going to draw a next line over here. All right, so I'm going to array this and divide the circle into 12 by using a polar array. So I'm going to click these two lines. And I'm going to type array. A R R A Y, and I'm going to select al array polar. It says specify center point of array. The center point would be right here, and there the circle is divided into 12 equal parts. All right, good. So now, this let me label this the same way it's labeled in the picture. So it's labeled 0, so 0 and 0 would be on the same point. All right, so let's do that. All right. So in order for me not to get confused because this is going to have a lot of lines. So what I'm going to do is to just give each of these a different color. So to do that, I'm going to explode this by clicking on it and typing explode. All right, good. So now each line is, an, is, it, is its own individual line. And I'm going to give each line a different color. So that I don't get confused. So I know which line represents which color. So let me just use these colors right here. Red. Yellow. Sorry. So this is red. The next one is yellow. Let's make this green. And as the drawing continues and you realize how much lines or how many lines there are in the drawing, then you will understand why it was so important for me to use 
different colors for all of these all right there we go all right so now let's label this so right here this would be zero so let me select text select a multi-line text just create a, like a little rectangle click and create a little rectangle and in that rectangle in this space now i'm going to type a let me just type a since o and a is the same point this is a bit small so i want to make it twice the size so i'm going to click on that and type scale a c a l e and press enter then it says specify base points i'm going to click on a and type two since i want to make it twice the size and there we go so let me just click on this and select the move tool so let me move it to over here to this point right here all right let me just turn up object snap a bit because i don't want the numbers to be snapping to the lines all right so i'm just going to do this i'm just going to copy this a bunch of times and bring it to the different points and then i'm going to change the value so all i'm going to be doing now is numbering the circle um so you can skip the numbering if you already understand how the numbering is done all right so let me just i'm just going to put a everywhere and then i'm going to change the value of a and put in the correct values let me put a here again since this would be both a both a and zero so let me change this here to zero all right this is one and the reason why this is one and this isn't one is because it's rotating in a clockwise direction all right so that's why we are numbering it the way that we are so this over here would be three and four uh, mechanisms is a very it's a very important topic especially when it comes to mechanical drawings so this is the basics this is like an introduction to mechanisms so it's important to understand how these drawings work and what they represent all right so this here is nine ten is here and then this is 11 let me just label the center o so let me just do this and just copy this to here and change the value of that to o let me just delete this let me change the value of this to o all right good so now from the center o to where we're going to find c is going to be 120 so i'm just going to use a line to find c so let me use a construction line so from the center here let me turn on back object snap so from this point in the center here to let me turn on arthur so it says from there to over here would be 120 so let's do 120 enter and then go down by 20 enter oh sorry let me do that again so that would be from the center here it would be 120 enter then move your cursor down and type 20 and press enter all right so here we would have point c right here so let me label this c so let me just copy this over here and call this c all right so let me just move it up a bit all right, there we go all right so now i'm going to draw the line a b through c right here so it says here that a b equals 180 millimeters and it goes through c so let's do that all right so from here from this point here let me turn off ortho and <coughs> i'm going to use the same color that a b is so that i don't get confused so that o a sorry to represent a b so from zero bring your cursor just bring your cursor to c and type 180 don't click anything just bring it to c and type 180 
center so there now this point here would be point b all right so let me just copy this from here to here and change the value of this to b all right there oh i should make this a uppercase c there we go all right nice so now we just have to bring the other points through c and then make them 180 as well and then we will get the actual the actual loci for a b as it rotates one revolution so we're gonna come here to one to point one right here bring the cursor to c and once again type 180 Uh, sorry, this is the wrong color. I should be using this color so I don't get confused on so what is what. So let me just use the correct color. There we go. Alright, so now this is blue. So let me change to blue. Alright, and draw a line from 2 to C. Point C here. And type 180. So for all of them, that's what we're doing. Alright. So let me change to magenta and draw a line through C and type 180. Alright, then which color are we? Now we are at yellow. Now we are at red. Alright, and if this was like an exam situation or if you were answering a question that you were given in class of course you wouldn't use different colors but i'm just using different colors for the purposes of this video so that you don't get confused and you will better understand when i start plotting the points all right so from here let me bring this to c here and type 180 there we go and then yellow all right and from 5 here to C and type 180 and just keep doing that for all the points the next point is point 6 which is green so from here bring your cursor to C and type 180 nice nice all right and then uh, the next one is the lights blue so from here to C and type 180 and there we go and then the next one is blue so from it to C type 180 all right and then the next one is magenta from 9 to C type 180 do the same for number 10 which is red all right and then uh, we have two more points this point is yellow number 11 is yellow bring that through C One eighty. Um, let me redo this one. This is from line number seven. Number seven did not go through C, and number seven was cyan. So let me redo number seven. All right. So from here. So here this is 180 
that's better. And then the next one now would be from the next one would be from oh that's all of them yeah so we have all the points now good all right so now we are going to plot our points the first point would be b so b would be like zero all right and this is where the color comes into play so b would be the green point which is right here all right nice all right so to do this we're going to select spleen s-p-l-i-n-e some people call it spline so type s-p-l-i-n-e all right so now we're going to plot the loc the locus for point b as oa makes one revolution so this is where the colors um become um important so the first point is b and b is a green line the second point is um no the first point is point b right there which would represent um a b the next point is point one and point one is cyan so this is point one here after that the next color is point two which is a blue line which is right here and then point three is magenta which is this point here point four is red five is yellow six is green seven is cyan eight is blue nine is magenta ten is red eleven is yellow and then it goes back to b so then it press spacebar all right so there it is so that is how you would plot the locus for point b as oa makes one revolution all right so, th so this video was our introduction to mechanisms please subscribe if you found the video helpful so that you can see more technical drawing and autocad videos we will also be continuing the mechanisms series so thanks for watching and do have a great day